Problem 11. Miss Carr asks her students to read any five of the ten books on the reading list. Harold at random selects five books from the list, and Betty does the same. What is the probability that there are exactly two books that they both select? So let's first visualize it. Within the book list, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. These are the book selections. And now Harold goes first. Let's suppose that he chose such five books. Two, five, six, nine, ten. Right? And then Susan does the same. Now, there are special conditions for what Susan can choose, right? The special conditions is that two of them must come from Herodotus' pile, and three of them must come from the pile that he did not choose, which is three, four, seven, uh, eight, and what? And one, right? So Susan must pick two from here, and pick three from here, right? In order to satisfy that there are the, that there are exactly exactly two books that they both select. That's fancy words of saying two books Herodotus read and three books Herodotus did not read. Right? That's just the fancy ways of saying it. So let, so in other words, if you boil down the question, we're really just trying to find a number of ways that we can, first of all, create these two piles and then choose two from here and three from here. That's the question at its essence. So now with this understanding, we can solve the probability, right? The first probability, what is the denominator? Well, the denominator is the total number of cases possible, which the total number of cases is the number of groups possible, the groupings. So let's first, with Herod is this grouping, how many such groupings can exist. Well, from the 10 books, Herod must choose 5. So 10 pick 5 represents the number of book selections, the combinations of book selections that Herod can choose. But then if Herod, for example, chose 5 of the 10 books that he wants to read, then effectively there's 5 pick 5 left for the pile that he does not want to read, right? In other words, once Harold picks the five books that he does want to read, it's predetermined the, the, the set of books that he does not want to read, right? Which is five pick five. Five pick five just means one, meaning that there's only one combination possible, which in this case is three, four, seven, eight, one, as illustrated right here. Now, we have the denominator set. Let's find the numerator. The numerator is the number of selections that we can choose from these total groupings. Well, how do we do that? Well, from Herodotus' pile, there's always going to be five books, because everyone must read five books and we want to be on two of them so five pick two but then again we want three of them from the book that um that harold did not choose to read so it's five pick three so with this we solved the question because we understood the question and thus we're able to write the probability out correctly now what is 10 pick five times five pick five five pick five, five, pick five is just one i only wrote it there just for logical reasoning but on the actual test, you don't have to write it. Now, what is 10 pick 5? Well, that's 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6, right? Divided by 5 times 4 times 3 times 2. Now, what about the numerator? That is 5 times 4 times 5 times 4. With this, let's solve the question. Let's first simplify the denominator right here. The denominator gets simplified into, well, 10 and 5 gets simplified into 2, which cancels with this 2, right? And we also know that 4 and 8 gets canceled into 2 right here. So in other words, this becomes 5, um, I'll scroll down just for visual sake, 5 times 4 times 5 times 4 times 3 over 2 times 6 times 7 times 9. Notice I'm not combining anything yet. I want to simplify first. So let's further simplify. 2, this becomes 2, right? 2 and 6 get canceled into 3, but the 3 and 3 gets canceled. Now, what else can we do? We can do nothing else. So now we can combine. 7 times 9 is 63, 25 times 4 uh, is 100. Okay, so obviously we did something wrong here. Um, so let's actually redo it by hand. Well, 10 pick 5, um, I have a calculator nearby, so let's just actually use a calculator. That's 252. Hmm, I don't know how I did arithmetic wrong, but for sake of time, it's 252. Just watch out for the arithmetic on the actual exam. What is 5 pick 2? Well, that's still 5 times 4 times 5 times, well, 5 times 4 divided by 2. Oh, I forgot to divide by 2 here. Yeah, divide by 2. Yeah, okay. So, we, we can actually still save it, right? We, let's, let's go back to here, because we can use calculator on an actual test. So, this is what? This is, uh, it's getting a bit messy here. It's 5, five times 4 times 5 times 4, right? I'm just rewriting it, times 3 over 9 times 2 times 7 times 6. But now, let's remember to divide the 2. So, with this, now we should be able to solve it correctly, right? Because 2 times 2 is 4, cancels with this 4 right here. And then we know this and... This and this gets canceled into 2, right? And 2 and 4 gets canceled into 2. And now the 2 and the 2 gets eliminated, so we're left with 25 over 63. There we go. That's the correct answer. So your final answer will be answer choice D.